being a mod developer can be overwhelming at times. I get an idea or I'm in a discussion with a community member, I take notes and I'm flipping, screenshotting, and jotting them down everywhere. These notes, ideas, and discussions are not always localized to one place, such as Discord or in any one particular app. They've happened on stream, they've happened while I'm walking to the store, which means I have physical paper notes, I have notes on my phone, I have audio clips and suggestions and bookmarks on multiple platforms and apps while holding my ideas and plans for my project. It's time to change that. Hey, hey all, I'm Atlas and I'm here on the internet and today we'll be looking to what a wiki is, how wikis are created, if I'm even building one, and how members of the community can contribute to, expand on, and help me develop this beyond my own project. A wiki is a form of online hypertext publication that is collaboratively edited and managed by its own audience directly through a web. A typical wiki contains multiple pages that can either be edited by the public or limited to use within an organization for maintaining its internal knowledge base. Reading that definition straight from Wikipedia itself is a little uh, wordy, so let's try to explain it to everyone in simple terminology. To explain it as a layman, wikis are typically a hub of information centered around a topic or a specific piece of media. There's anime, games, science, movie, TV series, and other types of wiki. Wikis themselves are based on the original Wikipedia website and the now, at least usually, Wikimedia software. Wikimedia software is a free, open-source, multi-language software that allows users to build a wiki page, pages, or a full site easily, assuming that they know web server-based stuff and can follow directions. But still, I am, and heck, maybe you are, left with a question. What exactly is a wiki? So, let's take a quick history lesson before returning to this question. Wikis, or Wikipedia in general, started in development in Portland, Oregon in 1994, according to the Wikipedia article. The website was launched to C2.com in 1995. Wikipedia, or as it was called at the time, WikiWikiWeb, was named so by its creator, Ward Cunningham. You can actually see him on screen right now. Ward called it WikiWiki Wiki based off the WikiWiki Wiki shuttle bus that runs between the airport terminals in Honolulu International Airport. According to Cunningham himself, he chose this as an alternative to the word quick. In the early internet days of the early 2000s, most companies used wiki software to create their own internal collaboration software and documentation. It is actually unknown how many private wikis there are out there between users, groups, communities on the internet. Now, the original definition of the word wiki was used to refer to websites and the software that powers them. Over time, however, the creator, Ward Cunningham, has argued that the word wiki shouldn't refer to a single website, but instead to a larger set of sites, kind of like Wikipedia. So this brings us back to the original question. What is a wiki? Interestingly, I think I can confidently say that Mr. Cunningham is wrong. Well, he's kind of wrong at least now, in today's society. Over time, as we use a word that's been newly created or even used for decades, the meaning can change culturally until it has an entirely new meaning behind it. This is apparent with words like regulate, as in the United States Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Regulated, when this was written, meant something that was well-maintained or organized. Another good and more recent example is the word Google. Yes, that Google, the giant tech company. Google, the company, originally wanted the word to only mean to use the Google search engine to seek information online. Of course, throughout today's society, we use it as a verb. I'm going to Google something. Go Google it. So what do I think Wiki is in today's society? To put it simply, a Wiki is a host of information, documentation, and instruction for an end user. A wiki is not a singular page, but rather a large network of pages covering many or specific topic ranges, from programming to anime and everything in between. Wikipedia is a general use wiki. Fandom is a specific use wiki bar. And you know, all my homies hate fandom, so fuck fandom. With that said, I'm building a wiki, probably. Okay, okay, I can hear you guys. Atlas, you got us to learn stuff, you're saying. But how are you building a wiki and why? To put it simply, I'll be using Obsidian, a free note-taking app. 
To quote the man word for word who got me into Obsidian and its community, Obsidian is a simple yet extraordinarily powerful piece of note-taking software. Not only have I been using it to keep track of notes and documents for projects, but it's become a sort of second brain for me as well. And that's why this program has such a thriving community surrounding it with countless plugins and discussions on different ways to use it. Obsidian is wildly powerful and infinitely diverse. From plugins to CSS, users can make Obsidian their own unique note-taking app. Me, myself, and I have broken down my Obsidian files into, for the most part, five distinct categories. Well, at least for now. In the description, you guys can find a link to the live site or wiki, whatever you want to call it. So if you guys want to view how this looks online, you can find everything already in its published state. Bear in mind, I say published, not polished. The first category we have is projects and wiki section. I'll be using this for all my project development. This will include full born mod wikis, which in the case of mods like Genesis will be a massive multi thousand page wiki. And in the case of projects like Bahala Gothic, will contain maybe 100 pages max. I also plan on hosting various other projects here as well. You can actually see those on screen right now. Something like the Ready to Die wiki or the Therese's wiki. Once the Kenshi Vanilla template wiki is finished, it should be easy for mod authors like Tread Lightly to slowly convert their internal knowledge base to a front-facing sub-site without payment to any sort of website. Section 2 is mostly my internal daily notes. This is where I have my to-do list and random ideas I have in the form of atomic notes. Atomic notes being the process of actually writing down various ideas you have throughout the day and slowly categorizing your own mind. While I may work on this in the future and publish various things to the front-facing side of things, don't expect too much here as this is mostly private, internal, mental stuff. This is where writing happens, whether it's questline concepts, stories, and storyboarding, or my script writing, much like this exact script that I'm reading right now. This section will be fully front-facing, so people will be able to explore various concepts and ideas behind things, like questlines, while also being able to see their general shape and makeup as an outline. This section is different, and again, a little bit more personal. Topics is shorthand for topics of interest. This includes things like game development, mod development, sciences and other various things. This section will eventually evolve to take on maybe a hundreds if not thousands of various ideas and will host various documents and design idea types. As an example, we can see my Velerin game world design template. People always ask if I want to make a game and in all honesty, one day, yeah. Which you can probably tell from this design canvas, another feature of Obsidian. So to wrap off everything with a neat little bow, I've moved everything concept and design wise of my projects and various other things to one area. I'll be working on expanding this knowledge base over time. There will be vault archives regularly uploaded to my Proton drive so you guys can actually have a private wiki build of all my projects on your PC. And if you guys would like to help, you can. Head over to the homepage on the website and look for the contributions document if you'd like to help with the Kenshi template wiki. I want to give a huge shout out to Cian Voxel on YouTube who let me chop up his video for bits and pieces of this. I also want to thank you, my community, who's slowly grown over time. And of course, if you guys want to help contribute but hate writing, you can always join my Discord and just be a part of the community. You can also buy Discord membership or donate on Ko-Fi to support me and my projects monetarily, or you can just, you know, like the video. That helps too. Thank you everyone for watching. I am Atlas and I am out. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Mod Monday and the reopening of the Valhalla Gothic Test Sermon.